Hey guys, how you doing today? My name is Eric Settle, and I'm a sustainability outreach student intern at the Center for Sustainability here at the University of Kansas. And you're probably asking, Eric, what is sustainability? Like, you haven't even told us a news story yet, and I'm already confused. But you don't need to fret, because I got you. Sustainability is trying to meet the needs of today without compromising the needs of future generations. And you might say, like, no, Eric, that's kind of a tough thing to do. And it is, which is why we need to start the discussion now. And I'm going to dive into a new story that I just found related to the environment, but I'm not going to dive in with just regular old sunscreen. No, I'm going to dive in with eco-friendly sunscreen. Because the sunscreen that we're using right now is actually killing the coral reefs. Because in that sunscreen is a chemical called oxybenzone. And this chemical will actually kill and damage the DNA in these coral reefs. And it will actually prevent young coral reefs from developing properly. Which is... Yeah, on sunscreen, man. D dude, I'm actually trying to do the video. And what is especially damaging about this sunscreen is that it contains a chemical called oxybenzone. And this oxybenzone will actually damage the DNA in the coral reefs and prevent young coral reefs from developing properly. Which is really sad to me because if a young coral reef can't develop properly, how is it going to just find its true color? The most scary part of this is that it's not only the beachgoers that are actually swimming in the ocean uh, that are actually causing this issue, it's also anybody that put on sunscreen during the day and ends up taking a shower and washing it off. Because when you think about it, all water eventually is going to end up in the ocean sooner or later. So it doesn't really matter where the water is currently. Um, it's going to end up in the ocean and it's going to get to those coral reefs and damage them. And a really striking statistic is about 14,000 tons of sunscreen will end up in coral reefs per year. But I know a lot of you are thinking, you know, I get the whole thing, you know, we need to save these coral reefs, but I don't want to get sunburned. But there is good news for you. Uh, there is eco-friendly sunscreen, which will actually use titanium oxide and zinc or zinc oxide instead of oxybenzone. If any of you guys uh, want to know, you know, where can I buy this or, you know, what brands out there of eco-friendly sunscreen even exists, you can check out the link below that I will have set up uh, in the video description for some more information on that. This sunscreen is not the only stress to these coral reefs. Also, increased exposure to sunlight, especially a high, higher increase in water temperatures in the ocean uh, will cause stress to these corals. So, you know, this whole, you know, climate change thing is kind of a, a bummer to these coral reefs, uh, to say the least. And the coral reef ecosystem is one of the most delicate ecosystems. And it needs to have really, really stable conditions in order to survive. So killing off these coral reefs is actually, is actually not only harming the coral reefs, but is actually harming uh, our health. And so the thing that really affects us as humans is that the drugs that are made from these coral reefs could actually possibly cure cancer, arthritis, and a lot of bacterial infections, which to me I'm thrilled about because all those things kind of suck. Also, we have about a hundred million dollars worth of U.S. fisheries that are actually targeting specifically the coral reefs. So harming these coral reefs not only harms you know, the coral reef ecosystem, but it also harms our potential health and cures for many diseases that we you know, are really devastated at the moment. And also um, it will harm our economy. And when you look at those two factors, um, that you know, really shows why it's important for us as humans to really do something right now. All right, so I'm going to take a few moments to explain to you guys the kind of events that we have uh, going on here on KU's campus um, you know, regarding the Center for Sustainability. Uh, so October is Hunger Awareness Month, and uh, the Center for Sustainability 
is working very closely with Just Food for Douglas County, uh, which is a nonprofit organization that uh, takes donations, spe food donations specifically from residents in Douglas County for other residents in Douglas County uh, who are struggling with food insecurity. Um, and we are actually currently having a campus food drive from now until the end of the month. And we have tons of barrel locations. Or you can also donate online at uh, justfood.org. And you can donate just any dollar amount there online. But make sure that you allocate, allocate your donation to KU Fights Hunger. Um, and support our, our movement, our cause that we have right now. Um, we, I will put some in, more information to that uh, in the description below, uh, some links to our Facebook events, uh, so you can get more information on it. If you like this video and you want to see more, it is very important that you hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to see more of this. And uh, so that's all that I have for you guys today. Uh, so I'm going to sign off. And uh, stay sustainable, my friends.